Are you looking to get a doctoral degree in nursing, but you're not sure which way to go? Do you want a DNP or do you want a PhD? In this video, I will go over the difference between the two degrees, the difference in the programs for each degree, the length of the program, the job opportunities for each different degree, and by the end of this video, it will help you make your decision on which degree to go with. Okay, let's talk about the main differences between a DNP or Doctorate of Nursing Practice and a PhD, a Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing. So the main differences are that a DNP is a practice-focused degree. So all of the things that you're going to do with a DNP are going to be clinically based. Whereas a PhD in nursing is science-based, it's research-based, so it's not bedside-based. And I'm going to dive in more into the differences and career opportunities, but that in a nutshell is the difference. In a PhD program, as a student, you will conduct a new research-based project and have to write and defend a dissertation. In a DMP program, you will do a scholarly project based on evidence that has already been generated and implemented in a clinical setting. So there's a lot more that goes into these differences. Let's dive in. So let's start with the DNP. So I have a DNP in nursing practice and I'm really happy that I went with that degree for myself and the career goals that I wanted to achieve. So in a DNP program, you do not do a new research-based project in a dissertation, but you do a scholarly project. So the scholarly project that I completed for my DMP program was titled Preventing Compassion Fatigue and Burnout in New Grad Residents. So my, my goal with this project was to look at the research, find out what the turnover rate was for new grads, and look at different self-care methods that have been evidence-based proven to reduce burnout and compassion fatigue and I created a course on preventing compassion fatigue and I presented it to a panel and that's kind of how I did my DNP project. I have a couple other examples I can go over with you, but that was mine. And if you guys want me to do a video on how to choose your DNP project, because that's very, very important, uh, you don't want to get too big, you don't want to be uh, working on this project, you know, for five years. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments and I, I will. But other project examples are basically searching for a clinical or population problem that speaks to you and developing a project to address that issue. It could be investigating clinical interventions, modifying a certain nursing practice that's already in place, for better outcomes and modifying nursing practice for specific patient populations. For the DNP program, because the DNP program is oftentimes tacked onto a nurse practitioner degree, there are clinical hours required. Whether or not you're wanting to be a nurse practitioner, you need to complete a thousand clinical hours to complete your DNP project. So that was a huge undertaking for me, working full time, but that is one of the requirements for a DMP program is that 1,000 clinical hours. So the length of the DMP program, if you're going from your BSN into a DMP program, it can take about three years. If you're going from your MSN, to a DNP program, it will take about two years. But that really is if you're going full time and you're following the pace of the program and completing your doctorate project in a timely manner because in the Doctor of Nursing program, there is a lot of autonomy for you as the student and you can kind of work at your own pace. So you need to stay disciplined in order to finish in that time frame. So the average length to completing a DMP program is about two to five years. If you want to into account, some people might pace themselves a little slower on completing their project. So a couple of examples that I've seen of DMP projects were 
um, using a patient facing clinical tool to prevent falls or reducing turnover time in the OR by promoting teamwork, improving the nurse telephone triage system in an ambulatory care setting. So those are some topics that I have seen for DNP projects. The cost of the DNP program is really hard to say on a YouTube video because all the schools are different, but I would say it averages around thirty to forty thousand dollars for your MSN to a DNP program. But really, don't take my word for that. You'll have to look at the schools individually. Okay, what about a PhD? So the PhD program. The PhD program takes much longer than the DNP program because you are doing research from the ground up. So it is a research-based project. It's new research that hasn't been done before. So finding out that clinical problem and creating a research project, you know, to look into that clinical problem. So the typical length of time for a PhD program is five to seven years, which not surprisingly means the cost of a PhD program is higher than a DMP program as well. There are no clinical hours associated with a PhD program though, which could be good if you are working full time, you don't have to in, you know, do those thousand hours that are required for the DMP. The coursework for a PhD program is gonna involve statistics, quantitative designs, advanced study designs, and completing a dissertation. Some common topics for PhD students would be IT, community and population health, health equity, and prevention programs. So some topics that I looked up for the PhD program that were actually very interesting to me were topics such as health disparities with disinfectant use, after the COVID-19 pandemic. That's interesting. One topic that I saw once was failure to thrive in people who lost their dentures in the tsunami in Japan. Very interesting as well. So job opportunities with these two degrees have similarities, but they vary as well. A DNP is going to be more clinically based. So that means more hospital settings. So hospital admin, if you wanna be a CNO, you want to be you want to be DNP prepared. So other opportunities would be the chief nursing executive, directors of nursing, nursing administrators, nursing managers and presidents of organizations within the healthcare systems, clinical midwives, the certified nurse anesthetist, professors of nursing in some academic settings, and then nurse practitioner in all of the nurse practitioner specialties, you know, geriatric nurse practitioner, pediatric nurse practitioner, there's neuro nurse practitioners. So those will be your DMP prepared nursing job opportunities. If you wanted to go down the PhD route, you're going to be more research based. So you can work in a hospital as the nursing researcher. You can be nursing faculty in researching different pedagogies in the university setting. With a PhD, you can be that the nurse scientist at a hospital who promotes the advancement of nursing practice through evidence-based discovery. You can work on public health policy and healthcare innovation. In healthcare innovation, you would be working with the IT systems and technology-oriented research to improve patient care. If you're on the fence about which doctorate program to go towards, I hope this video helped you with your decision. Let me know in the comments below if it did, and if there's anything else you would like me to cover, I would be happy to do so. I'm excited for you to continue your education goals in nursing, and I will see you in the next video.